So I do have an American accent, uh, not this one. <laughs> I have another one that I use when I need to, you know what I mean? Like when I go to Starbucks, I have to use it because they never understand my name, so I have to use my American accent. Like the other day I was there, the girl was like, hey, can I get your name? So I used my accent, I was like, my name is Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> and the girl's like, uh, how do you spell that? <laughs> it's like San Francisco. <laughs> but without the San. <laughs> and then I got the cup, and it said San Jose. I was like, is my cousin here? Uh, so, uh, so I have a step dog and a step cat. Uh, they're my girlfriends, and we moved in together. And she's like, here are your babies. I was like, I want to see some DNA test. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, now that I have a dog and a cat, I do have to say that I like dogs a bit better. I have to say that. Because dogs, I think they're better roommates for protection. You know what I mean? Because a dog, to me, is like having like a paranoid roommate. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're always hearing stuff. <laughs> right? They always come up to you like, hey, man, uh, I think there's something in the back, man. <laughs> Gotta call the cops, man! <laughs> like, they're always paranoid, right? They never want you to leave, like, hey, don't leave, man. It's dangerous out there. You're gonna die out there, man. That's why they're so surprised to see you. They think you die every time you leave, and then when you come back, they're like, Whoa! you're alive, man! I thought you were gonna die. Look, we gotta call the cops, man. But I like, I like that paranoia, I like that, because cats, they don't care, right? Like a cat, like if you get robbed, a cat wouldn't know it happened, right? A cat to me is like having like a stoner roommate, right? You get robbed, they just wake up like, dude, what happened to the TV, man? I didn't hear anything, and I was sleeping in the closet the whole day. <laughs> I, um... My dog, uh, my step dog, is actually a rescue dog. His name is Stanley. Uh, rescue dogs, the rescue dogs, that I realize it's a very American thing to rescue dogs. It is, and I think it's a great thing. I think most countries should do it, but rescue, because I never grew, I didn't know that dogs needed to be rescued. <laughs> I had no idea. I grew up in Venezuela, and I would see some dogs on the streets all the time. I never saw one dog going like, ah, rescue me. <laughs> No, they're outside going like, I'm free, I can be right here. <laughs> but here in the U.S., it's crazy. You never see one dog on the street, right? Like if after the show there's a dog wandering around by itself, the whole city shuts down, right? <laughs> it's like somebody call 911, there's a dog by itself. He doesn't know what to do. <laughs> Get out of the way, homeless person. We need to save this dog. <laughs> <laughs> um, so like I mentioned, I have a girlfriend, uh, she's from North Carolina, which is pretty cool because we're both from the South. <laughs> I'm just from the deep South. Uh, so my girlfriend, she loves to do stuff that she did back in North Carolina that she wants to do with me now all the time. Like uh, during last Halloween, she wanted to go to a pumpkin patch with me. Yeah, but I didn't grow up with the pumpkin patch. I don't know what the pumpkin patch is. But I was like, all right, let's go to the pumpkin patch. So we went to the pumpkin patch. <laughs> you know what I realized about the pumpkin patch? It's just people taking pictures with a vegetable. That's pretty much it. <laughs> it's a zoo for vegetables. <laughs> and I didn't grow with that concept, because back in Venezuela, my dad never took me to the supermarket with a camera. <laughs> Be like, hey, Francisco, stand next to the bananas. I was like, what? <laughs> They're not ready. <laughs> Which, by the way, that shows you what a first world country is, right? Right? To go to a field of food just to take pictures? <laughs> That's amazing, right? I would love to take one of my cousins that are living in Venezuela right now and be like, look, we're going to go to the U.S. and I'm going to take you to a pumpkin patch. <laughs> and my cousin's like, yeah, I'm starving. Let's go to the pumpkin patch. <laughs> 
And we get there, and he's like, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I'm like, Willy Wonka, I'm like, come with me. And you'll be in a first world of pure gentrification. And my cousin's like, wow, so many pumpkins. I'm going to eat that one. Oh, there's, I'm going to be those two other. I'm like, no, 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 no. We take pictures here, Charlie. <laughs> but you can pick one pumpkin, and we can take that one home. Okay, I get it, because uh, we eat it at home. <laughs> no, we make a scary face out of it. <laughs> well, I don't get it. So when do we eat the pumpkin? Oh, we never eat the pumpkin. <laughs> we let it rot outside. <laughs> Welcome to the first world. 